Hello everyone, and um, I'm gonna give you my latest uh, main. Well, this is I'm gonna change something up here. My trailer review um, thing stuff that I do is that I'm gonna watch the trailer live during this video because I have not watched it before, and uh, so you, so you do get to see my true, real, authentic reaction to seeing it for the first time of it being recorded here on my webcam, and and today it is. For the new Quentin Tar for the new Quentin Tarantino movie, The Hateful Eight. So let's start the trailer. Somewhere else, Jack. Got room for one more. Call him the hangman. When the handbill says dead or alive, the rest of us just shoot you in the back and up on top of perch somewhere and bring you in dead over a saddle. But when John Roof the hangman catches you, you hang. Get in, boys! <laughs> this here is Daisy Donahue. She's wanted dead or alive for murder. When that sun comes out, I'm mm -hmm. taking this woman to hang. Is there anybody here committed to stopping me from doing that? Well, well, well. Looks like Minnie's haberdashery is about to get cozy for the next few days. Yes, it does. One of them, fellas. Is not what he says he is. Move a little strange, you gonna get a bullet. Not a warning, not a question. A bullet. Oh, now we're talking. So many men in there. Ooh, it's almost like old style directing, like from the 60s and 70s, that you kind of direct like old John Wayne to the movies. But either way, uh, the Hateful Eight uh, trailer from Molly Goffin, it looks pretty cool. It looks really, really cool. I love the style, I love the way it feels, all that great. Um, uh, the, the cast, I don't know much about, like, uh, we get to see, um, Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, let's just search this up. Hey. Cool. And, uh, okay, here's the cast. Holy crap. Some damn good... Yeah, yeah. Well, in the trailer, uh, I can barely um, make out anyone. Makes make out anyone, but I can clearly see someone old Jackson. And it says Kurt Russell's in this, and now watching it is like, ah, now I realize where he is, and now I can see where he is. Just, uh, just to get to see. Sorry, um, Michael Mads Madsen, who's also in this. You also have Walton Gordon's Channing Tatum, but Channing Tatum, Tim Roth, and Demian, Demian Becker. Alright, that looks like a pretty good cast, to be honest. That looks pretty cool. Like, just going off the trailer alone, um, for me, it's, like, it's very much like, you know, uh, it's like the trailer itself, like I know it's a teaser trailer, it's like the very first trailer, but for me it's kind of like, it's so simple with Mary's approach that I just don't know what to get with the story. For me it's like, okay, that's cool, but what's the story? I don't, like, you got to establish that story. I don't know much about this, and uh, it says here on the internet, and I'll read it to you. Uh, 
Yo, I'm gonna open IMDB. It is. Oh, crap. Probably not. Oh, Channing Tatum is rumored to be in the movie. We don't know for sure. Crap, was a lot of great actors in this movie. Then again, we can. What hap this is what happens when you have awesome, quick Tarantino tracking. This movie. Sorry, I'm excited. I love the name. It's a hateful eight. It's the eighth movie according to Tarantino's series, and I'm like, that's really cool. Uh, well, basically, here's what I can give in the story. While well, racing towards the town of Rock, Red Rock in post Civil War, Wyoming, Bounty Hunter John the Hangman, Ruth Kurt Russell, and the fugitive prisoner Jennifer Jason Lay. Encounter another bounty hunter played by someone, Al Jackson, and a man played by Walter Walkins, who claims to be a sheriff, hoping to find shelter from a blizzard. The group travels to a stagecoach stopover located on the mountain pass. There, they encounter four strangers and soon, that, uh, and soon learn that they may not make to their destination after all. Ooh, sounds like tension and. A lot of betrayal, maybe on the last for that. Which, for me at least, makes it very suspenseful and very, very unclear. It sounds kind of unclear, but I think it's smart like that. It like, leaves a bit too desired, but I can at least kind of respect it in a certain, in a certain degree, of a way of essentially really admiring Quentin Dottino for not having everything spelled out to us. I like that, leaving some things in the mystery there. Like, what I thought, what I personally thought, like, um, with, um, one of my biggest problems with, um, English Bastards, which is the only Tarantino film what I will strictly say I do not like, uh, what I thought, like, everything was just so dialogue heavy, where it just felt nothing was memorable, and that's my problem with that film. Uh, leaving more things up to your mind, and that is what I call a very f interesting and memorable, um, impact the scene. It's like something that does something a bit more differently. I really, really respect that and I love that. It just, to me, that's so cool seeing this. And it's really, really interesting. I just love seeing that. And, uh, yeah. Here's part, here's hoping to the new Quentin Tarantino Hateful Eight movie. I'm really, really excited. Everyone, that's my main thoughts on this new trailer. I really hope you enjoyed it. In the end, that's just what I think of the movie. The, this first trailer as a whole and in the end of them, I really hope you enjoy it and stick around. As always, everyone, for for you to get to see more videos and within the future. Till then, everyone. I'll see you until then. Bye.